Hi, uh, it's Sarah Schwartz again and today I want to tell all the people who wondered how I know my child sex, um, having an unwanted child for such a short time. Well, um, my uh, brother Ben, my little brother Ben, has developed a method, a very unique method. It's actually, it's a technique. Um, and he practices it himself, he does it voluntarily. Um, it's a very simple method actually. You just go on your hands and knees, you take your uh, pants off or a skirt up, up, up and my brother Ben can look at your anus and he can tell you if it's a boy or a girl. Uh, the, the, not the anus, the baby. And unfortunately my uh, brother Ben had told me that I'm having a baby boy. And needless to say, I was very disappointed of my brother Ben. But it wasn't the first time he disappoints me. Um, the first time was when I was 16. Uh, he came into my room. I was, I was with a friend, a girl. We were just um, talking and touching ourselves, you know, just exploring our bodies and the changes we've been through. And he told me that he's a homosexual. He said that and um, well I took it quite hard not because I have a problem with anal sex I I don't I I do it myself I have no problem with it uh, not on a daily basis but occasionally I have no problem with um, anal sex but I knew that my brother Ben will have a hard life and I I wanted to be supportive so I said listen um, you're a homosexual, and then I took a pause, and I said, and you're Jewish, and then I took a pause, and then I said, uh, that means you're fucked, um, so just make the best of it, and he did, he did, he developed this great method, and nowadays he actually works on a very special project where he tries, and I'm sure he will succeed, to develop a way to uh, regrow your foreskin. Um, and as a homosexual, he appreciates the um, non-circumcised penis because he says that a non-circumcised penis is like a baby kangaroo. Um, the penis is the baby kangaroo, and when he sits in his mother's pocket, the foreskin, it keeps it it keeps it warm and moist and uh, that way you can have intercourse in any given time without using uh, creams or gels or any artificial uh, things. It's a hundred percent natural and um, I know some people think that homosexuality is unnatural but to me, if you ask me, I would say that um, people who circumcise their children, they are the perverts. Um, that's what I think. But anyway, I, I went back home and I told my beautiful husband Josh that we're go definitely going to have a baby boy. And he was thrilled. I was depressed. He wanted to celebrate. I wanted to die. And um, I just masturbated and went to sleep. Um, that was my day. Yeah.